guys, today I'm here to show you how I got this super glowy pink monochromatic look perfect for spring as it has started to roll around where I am. I've really been enjoying a lighter coverage foundation, more glow, but as you may know, as someone with oily skin, it's definitely important for me to control the glow. I cannot just go like hardcore with illuminating setting sprays and all that good stuff because my face is very, very oily. So a way that I have been liking to mix up my routine and ensure that a lighter coverage foundation gives me what I want is skincare. And this video is in collaboration with Vichy. I'm going to be showing you two of the new products from their Idelia line. You would have seen it put to use in my skincare routine recently and I've really been enjoying these. These products are meant to help tired skin, dull skin, so that you can not only glow because your highlight is popping but also because your skin is being taken care of. So let's go ahead and get started. We're actually going to go back in time to start this all off. I'm using the Vichy Idelia Night Peel as a part of my nighttime skincare routine and this can just be smoothed all over your face like any other peel or toner and if you have very sensitive skin and have kind of stayed away from peels but you're looking to get the benefit of a peel this one is actually formulated for sensitive skin allergy tested paraben free and full of great ingredients so things like glycolic acid black tea and blueberries which my boyfriend funny weird side fact is like president of the blueberry club and he does tons of research on ingredients he's a bit of a science nerd and loves blueberries for their external benefits and said that there's also external benefits as well so it has his stamp of approval this peel is meant to help with things like fine lines uneven skin tone and of course hydrate your skin you just smooth it on at night leave it on and you don't wash it off next up is my morning skincare and i'm using the vichy idelia radiance booster serum what i love about this guy is it gives me the glow without the grease which is key <laughs> so so important in my oily skinned world and it gives you glow because it's got ingredients in there like antioxidants got licorice root hyaluronic acid which is so good for moisturizing without feeling heavy on your skin no parabens and because it doesn't feel heavy on your skin it just absorbs so quickly and it just doesn't feel like you have a layer and you don't need to like wait five minutes to move on to the next step in your skincare routine which then you just end up skipping steps if you're anything like me and it also plays really nicely under makeup so I think no matter your skin type you'll really enjoy this but if you have oily skin and you've struggled with finding something lightweight this is a really nice option moving on to my makeup I'm using the YSL Touche Claw Blur Perfector Primer and this is something I've been enjoying using lately because it helps with the longevity of my makeup and as it starts to warm up that gets more and more important for foundation using something quite lightweight and using that with a damp beauty blender because that gives me an even lighter coverage I'm using the MAC next to nothing foundation which gives quite a light coverage depending on the format that you use, whether it's a brush or a beauty blender. Letting my skin shine through for sure, letting my freckles even going lighter on my nose so that my freckles show. And I also, I'm not doing any spot concealing or anything like that. I really want the face to look natural and glowy because I've been working on improving my skincare, so I want to show that off. Then moving on to my under eyes. Again, I don't want to use a full coverage concealer by any means, so I'm reaching for the Dior Radiance Booster Pen. This is going to help cover up any darkness, but still look, leave things looking bright and natural under the eyes. Something different that I actually don't you do often and almost forget to do, even when I intend to do it, is using a cream highlighter. But I've been loving using this new one from Joe Fresh. It just gives such a beautiful glow, even if you want to just use it on its own, even after you powder over it it still looks really good to set my under eye I'm using the NYX no filter powder it has a little bit of color in it so it can help kind of intensify that brightness under my eyes and then to help with makeup wear and mattifying to set my face I'm using the covergirl outlast all day powder almost forgot what that was called I'm using actually a face powder in just a deeper shade as a bronzer. This is the Jordana Forever Flawless Pressed Powder. I've really been liking using this as a bronzer. It's got a very, very warm tone. I don't think you could contour with it, but I haven't been doing much contouring lately, especially when I'm trying to go for a slightly lighter makeup look. I mean, this isn't a no makeup look by any means, um, but I really have been liking this to really warm up my skin tone and add any definition that I may have lost by adding foundation. Not totally sure why I go in this order, but let's move up to eyebrows 
an eyebrow product that I have been absolutely obsessed with lately that's super affordable is the Essence Eyebrow Gel. This is kind of like a pomade and it's just the perfect color. I love the consistency and you can get quite a natural brow with it even though it is a pomade. And then to set my brows I'm using the Annabelle Big Show Brow Mascara which I've also been enjoying lately. The brush is like a little bit big but I do really like the results. And then also from Annabelle to prime my eyes, I'm using their new eye primer, which I really like. It's a matte cream shade and it does a good job helping with the wear time of my eyeshadows. You could totally skip eyeshadow for this look, but this is something I've really been enjoying lately and I've been wearing it in a few videos and had some requests, so I thought I would show you um, this eye look. It's making use of the Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze palette, which I think is awesome. If you're into these kind of shades, definitely, definitely grab it. Running the kind of warm orangey brown shade through my crease. Moving on to a little bit of the deeper maroon shade and just putting that in my crease as well. I used my finger for that at first because it was just a little bit easier and I just did a lot, a lot, a lot of blending in this look. Then of course I put on that beautiful kind of pinky taupe shade. It's so interesting. I don't own any other shades like that. And then I'm going to put it on my lower lash line as well. Basically the same thing I did on my crease with the maroon shade and the orange all on my lower lash line. So it's not exactly like a super light springy look, but I have been loving the kind of like pink smoked out eye, which I think looks super interesting. I skipped liner for this look because I wanted to keep it a little bit more fresh and awake. So I used a new mascara from CoverGirl. It is the Total Tease. I really like this. I felt like it gave tons of length, a good bit of volume, and it just did not clump at all, which I really appreciate, and it really got in at both the inner and outer corner of my lashes, so I liked the, the look that it gave me, but I will have to report back after I test it out a little bit more. Then moving back to my face, I used a super pink blush, which I just tread really lightly with this. I didn't want it to be too pink. This is from the Estee Edit. It's in the shade Per Pink, and it is a matte blush. It's not too warm and not too cool. It's a little bit neutral, which I I enjoy and that's something to keep in mind if you're doing a monochromatic look you can totally play around with the shade or sorry the undertones of the shade to get a little bit more um, diversity in your look so it's not just all one pink shade if you're a little bit nervous about that kind of thing for my highlight today I'm using the Mac extra dimension skin finish in beaming blush it's kind of like a goldy pink thing so it's not a total like pink duochromatic highlight because it's probably not something I'm realistically gonna wear all the time but this is something that just adds a little bit of interest and keeps that pink hue in mind. And then for my lip, I made use of this YSL Beautiful Lippy. It is like the epitome of spring. You can wear it really, really lightly, build up a little bit more color, but it just looks so fresh and like a stain on the lips. And it does really have good wear time, super moisturizing because as spring starts to roll around, I do love breaking out the glosses again. I hope you enjoyed this look. Be sure to check out Vichy. I will link to them down below. I've got a coupon code for 20% off along with more information on where you can track down their products. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!